Hey, hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Encrypted. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, basically the part two um, to my project world survival thing. I don't, <laughs> I still don't know what to call it. It's kind of like a let's play part sort of thing, but it's basically uh, designed strictly for my projects that I'm going to be working on in this world because that is the main thing I want to go for on this channel as of right now. I want to make it like, you know, Minecraft survival projects. Um, just because I think those are really cool and I'm really good at them and I enjoy doing them. So I've got a ton of ideas for them. So I want to try to continue to do big projects like this and kind of show you guys them in little parts and stuff and show you how I've been doing them. Uh, as you can see, we're literally standing on uh, the project I've been working on, which I've been calling the Nether Biome because that's literally what it is basically this used to be a desert and we've dug up the entire thing pretty much and replaced it all with netherrack um and i'll quickly fly around to show you guys what we've done uh, i say we because it's been mainly me and my friend but he hasn't been in the world for a few days almost a week now and uh, i don't know if he's still planning to help with this or not but he did do a lot of help on this side that i'm flying over right now and if we go over here this is actually what I've been working on all week pretty much. This whole like landscape right here. All these hills and you know mountains and stuff. This mountain I just finished this morning. Finished the rest of the banks on it. Um, and then over here I started working on this side right here. And I've been currently working on this section right here. So uh, you know we've, I've been doing a lot for sure. And I've even got a few of the caves hauled out. Like in my bunker video I showed you guys. This is one of the caves I've had uh, filled with netherrack. I mean, it's seriously like completely coated with netherrack. And uh, all the other caves so far that I've ran into, pretty much I've also done the same. I've went through the whole thing, uh, filled it all with netherrack. And it, it takes a long time. It takes a long ass time to do this, but it looks so good. Like, it, honestly, I think this is the best project I've ever done. I think it's already the best project I've ever done. I haven't done many, but this is definitely the best by far. Um, also the longest. And we're not even done with it. This is literally, like, I'm labeling it by, like, phases. This is literally phase one, and we're not even done yet. Not even close, really, because we gotta go all the way to right here. This is one of the edges we're gonna end at. And it's gonna follow around this riverbank. All the way through here. And then the last thing that I'll need covered is this bunker mountain right here, where my bunker is. This is literally the last thing we're going to be uh, coating with netherrack. And uh, I shouldn't call it coating, because we're not actually coating it with netherrack. We're literally... Um, wow, okay, I forgot that part right there. Uh, we're literally digging into like the layers and replacing all of the layers with netherrack. Uh, in fact, I'll show you exactly what I mean. I didn't even know this part was here, but it's here. Basically, we dig the whole thing down until there's no sand left. And then we replace what the sand used to be with netherrack. It's actually pretty simple, but I mean, it's it's a long project. Also, I can't remember if it was... Okay, I think I think it's... <laughs> I think it was like that. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. It, you know, good enough. But, uh... Yeah, we've been digging um, all of the sand and uh, stopping once we hit sandstone and then we replace all of that sand that was there originally we replaced that with netherrack and it can go as deep to like five layers at times and in fact that's been pretty common lately i've been running into a lot of areas here with like five layer deep blocks it's such a pain but um you know you got to do it right here's a ravine that was here this took me a while to do uh, i did all this by myself this literally took me a while but uh it looks so good doesn't it like and the crazy thing is, like I keep saying, we're not even done yet. Like, this is just, like, part of phase one. Uh, phase two, I don't want to go too in-depth with all the phases, because I kind of want them to be a surprise uh, for, like, whenever we get to them. But uh, just know that phase one is placing all the netherrack on the uh, desert biome. And then phase two, I plan to be uh, placing, like, soul sand, nether quartz, um, you know, glowstone, nether wart, that kind of stuff. Uh, going all around the biome and putting in those little materials that you would normally find in the nether just to give it that extra vibe, you know, to make it really feel like it's the nether. And uh, again, I really don't want to keep spoiling it, but phase three, we are planning to put like a ton of nether fortresses all around. 
uh, big fortresses, really good looking fortresses, not like the ones in the nether, like the actual good looking fortresses, like custom ones. Um, I'm going to build them myself, they're going to look really good, obviously they're going to be made out of, you know, probably nether brick mainly, but uh, it's going to look good, it's all going to look good, I've got a really creative idea for one of them, and uh, speaking of creative ideas, I've even came up with another extremely creative idea that I literally just thought of the other day, and uh, I'm really excited to put that into it, I think you guys will really like this one, but uh, it's coming together, it is, and uh, even though I doubt many people will see this, um, I'm enjoying putting it together, and uh, I'm really hoping right now that one day I can do projects like this, uh, if I can speak, projects like this for, you know, a living at some point, that'd be freaking amazing, but uh, then again, who doesn't want to do that, you know, who doesn't want to play Call of Duty for a living, or Minecraft, or, you know, any game for that matter, but um, yeah, I feel like I really enjoy doing these projects, and I hope you guys enjoy seeing them, any of you that, you know, watch this video, um, I do hope you enjoy seeing these, even though I'm putting it together, because I like seeing it, I am also, you know, uploading it and editing it on YouTube for you guys, because I know that there's probably some people out there that would find this sort of interesting, at least a little bit, um, but, you know, I guess, I guess I'll see, you know, the views will tell, right, so, uh, Anyways, I guess for this part, um, on part one, all I really did was I walked around, I showed a lot of, you know, the world off, and then I revealed the project, and uh, that was really it. So I guess in this part, I'm going to show you guys basically what I do to uh, construct the biome. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to, like, you know, make you sit here for, like, two hours straight and watch me, like, you know, mine sand and then replace it with netherrack. I'm not going to do that. That'd be really, really boring to have to watch that. Um, basically, I'm just going to show you guys exactly how I've been doing it on a few little sections like this right here. This is exactly how we do it. Um, we literally just dig all the sand that was originally there, and then we just replace it with netherrack. It's really simple, actually. And uh, in case you're wondering, you know, how we're getting so much netherrack, it's because uh, these two pickaxes right here are both efficiency 5, and I'm breaking 3 and mending. So they're basically invincible, indestructible, extremely fast mining picks. And whenever you're mining things like netherrack, it just is, you know, super speed. So what I've been doing is I've been going in the nether. I've taken like 30 plus shulker boxes with me, maybe even more than that. And uh, me and my friend just sit there for days on end, filling them completely with netherrack. And then we bring them back and, you know, we use them until they're empty, which... Actually, soon we're probably gonna have to go do another um, another nether run soon because we're actually getting kind of low. <laughs> I mean, not like super low, but we're definitely running out soon. So, uh, but hey, you know, I kind of expected that was gonna happen. Uh, I'm not really surprised by that. So I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, since the sun's about to go down, I'm gonna speed build this as fast as I can, and I think I'm just gonna show you guys basically like a. Uh, speeded uh sped up version of this and uh you know see if you guys like it or not but yeah Alright, uh, as you guys can see, it is getting dark, so I'm going to quickly go uh, go sleep. That way I don't have to deal with mobs or anything. But uh, anyways, as you guys saw, I quickly, you know, I probably sped up all that footage there. But uh, that's basically what I've been doing, non-stop. Just all that mining you just saw me do, um, that sand, and then replacing with netherrack. That's exactly how I've been doing it. And uh, you can only imagine how long it takes. I mean... I know it made it look pretty fast on this little chunk, but I got pretty lucky. There were only two two block uh, deep layers there, uh, three block layer deep as well. Uh, for the most part, what I've been doing is taking on like four block deep layers, five block deep layers, sometimes even six block deep layers if I'm really unlucky, and uh, I have to dig that all and then refill it with netherrack. It takes forever to do, and it's not even like efficient either, so like I gotta jump in the hole and then fill it all up. Uh, you probably have no idea what I'm saying right now, because I don't know what I'm saying, but just just trust me. If you were watching this, like, if I was live streaming it, you would know exactly what I mean, and it is just, it is a pain. But, um, 
I think it's gonna pay off. I think this is gonna look amazing once I'm done with this. I'm really hyped to be done with it. And uh, like I said, phase one is uh, slowly coming to a close. I'd say we're probably 65, maybe even 70% done with it. So there's not a ton left. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna fly up and we're gonna take a look. That That's awesome. I mean, seriously. Oh, uh, that's one problem though. It, it is gonna rain in the biome occasionally. Uh, <laughs> it may be the nether and it may be the most fiery place on earth but uh even rain sometimes can still penetrate that fire so uh but that, that's just a minor little bug if anything i think that might make it look cool you know if it's raining and thunderstorming you know i could probably use like a channeling trident and you know that'd look really cool but uh oh my gosh guys i am so excited to put all these ideas into work i just keep like thinking about what it's gonna look like and oh my gosh okay that guy must have a death wish spawning on top of cactus like that okay uh anyways i'm so excited to have this done guys i really really can't wait to be done with it and show you guys exactly how far we are and uh by the way i know i might have mentioned this before but this is not the only project i have in mind on this channel i've been racking my brain for the past two weeks thinking of all kinds of crazy challenges crazy ideas crazy projects to do on this world and you wouldn't believe some of the stuff i've come up with and frankly i don't even believe it i don't know if i'll even be able to pull it off no one on youtube has done any of these ideas i'm thinking of uh although one of them has been uh you know kind of like i don't know what you would say like messed with a little bit on youtube but never to the extent i'm thinking i mean like seriously if i were to tell you what it is right now you probably would like say i'm joking because even this in creative mode, the idea I have in, like, you know, for this project, like, you wouldn't even believe it in creative mode. That's how crazy it is. Uh, so the fact that I'm going to attempt this project in survival mode, even crazier. This project itself is crazy in any mode, let alone, you know, survival. So, but that's one of the pluses to playing on Bedrock. There's really no way anyone can say that I'm, like, cheating. Because you can actually look at the world and see if it was ever put in you know creative mode which it wasn't you can look in the world and you know um no you can you can know if like i'm not using any like what are they called command blocks or whatever i don't know i don't know a whole lot about it yet but basically the fact that i'm playing on bedrock kind of just shows that all of this has been pretty much just genuine hard work that i've been doing hand by hand so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please feel free to smack a like on the video helps the channel out helps me out and uh i really appreciate it whenever i get any likes on the videos also uh feel free to subscribe if you guys haven't already if you're new to the channel uh if you guys like any minecraft content if you like tutorials uh big projects like this like i said before definitely subscribe you guys won't regret it i promise you that and uh i think that's about it I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.